pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, notice of 2021 meeting date was published in the Hunterdon County Democrat and the Easton Express Times on June 3rd, 2021, and posted on the Bolton Board of Borough Hall. Action may now be taken. with the reading of the May 27th, 2021 regular minutes. Move. Second. Roll call. Columbus. Yes. Barry. Yes. Moore. Yes. Schwartz. Yes. Strange. Yes. And Hughes. Yes. Motion to approve the May 27th, 2021 regular minutes. Move. Second. Second. Roll call. Columbus. Abstain. Barry. Yes. Moore. Abstain. Schwartz. Yes. Strange. Yes. Thank you. Yes. On to public comments. It is the policy of the Borough Council that all public comments on an issue <laughs> shall be limited to five minutes per person. No person may make more than one comment per subject. Comments may be made on any subject pertaining to borough issues. Comments pertaining to public hearings should be saved for that section of the agenda. No debating between residents. Comments should be addressed to the mayor and council at the public microphone. Public? Mm -hmm. Yep. Name and address, please. Terry Woods, 31 Nassau Road, High Bridge. I've been a resident here come September for 50 years. And I've been to, this is my fourth meeting. I came to two of the previous mayor, and I was here when Mayor Lee first became mayor. And I'm here for the very same reason, potholes, Nassau Road. <laughs> That's my main topic. Uh, they did do some repairs. Uh, about a month ago, one pothole was more than halfway across. As soon as you do one, another one pops up. And it's been 40 years since it has been paved. And I believe it's the worst road in Highbridge. I don't know that for a fact. But there's damage to our cars. And, you know, we all pay taxes. I pay 13000 a year, as I'm sure my neighbors do. I know we're one of the smallest roads. There's only four homes up there. But really, I plead with you, can something be done about it? If not in a budget, is there some way to get a grant of some kind? Now we have all the cyclists up there. And they don't just go into their area. They go from one entrance to the other. And one of these days, one of them's going to get hit by a car. Then there'll be a lawsuit that will cost more than paving the road. That's my say, and I thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you. I will just add that we are getting money, um, quite a nice sum from the American Rescue Plan and road and infrastructure is something that we can use it on. So we're going to be meeting with the engineers pretty quickly to review that. the priority list. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Public? Nicole Poco, 56 East Main Street. I'm also the owner of Scouts, and I'm also the president of the Business Association. Um, I'm going to be speaking about parking. Um, I know that there's an ordinance um, that hopefully you won't have time to review, and um, just kind of giving you my feedback, um, and it's not just my feedback, I've emailed with the rest of the Business Association. I think having different perspectives and point of views about what the business owners need is what I'm here to share with you. Um, there have been private email exchanges between the business association members and people outside of the business association. Um, we all are pretty much on the same page with not wanting an app, not wanting a kiosk, not wanting to pay. Um, the other thing that kind of interestingly has come up is that we're not really so interested in this to our limit. We, after listening to all of the other business owners' needs, it seems like you could do a class at uh, Haven, Healing Collective, 
you go to Scout, you can go down to Salty Lemon. At this point, this doesn't seem like something that we really do need, um, especially after listening to the Rispolis talk about their needs with reflections. I'm not really sure that two hour makes much sense for our town. Um, so that's the feedback that I have for the business association and for the business members that I've spoken to. Um, I also want to give you a personal concern of mine, which is that if we did do no limit on parking, we definitely need to do something about not having cars parked on the street for days on end, which is like parking at the train station and taking a trip into the city for three or four days in a row, or maybe even taking a plane to you know, the Caribbean, which sounds really awesome <laughs> right now. Um, people do that. They park on the street for days on end. So what I recommend is no overnight parking, maybe from two to six, have no overnight parking. Um, I do say that there is an ordinance that says that the, there will be permit parking from two to six overnight. Um, and I also see that um, in the minutes from May 13th that uh, it was reported incorrectly that I had suggested that. I did not suggest that. I rewatched watched the video. At no point did I suggest that there should be paid permit parking on Main Street from two to six. Um, there should be no parking on Main Street from two to six. This is my suggestion. Um, you can go back and watch the video. I see you shaking your head. Okay. Um, and I also want to just bring to the council that there might be an opportunity to listen to other people's needs, not just the business owners. I'm telling you my personal needs, but and also my business's needs, but their needs of residents, landlords, their needs of maybe <coughs> perhaps disabled people who live in the area, who this parking plan might not work for. Um, so what I'd suggested in an email to Bonnie and the mayor, I'll suggest to you as well as the council members, if you do anything with parking, it does seem like a committee might be the way to go. Um, that way you're getting point of views from everybody, not just one point of view. Um, you're getting point of views from the police force, you're getting point of views from the business owners, the landlords, tenants, residents, everyone has different needs. And I think that when you're coming up with a solution that's gonna impact our lives so much. And this is not, this isn't just like, let's put up some signs and see how it works. This is how people live. Like this is the way that we pull into our job, pull into our place of business, pull into our homes. And I think that it should be taken a lot more seriously than just kind of like brushing off people's needs. And I really do thank you for trying to come up with a solution. I really do. I don't want to seem ungrateful for all of the work that you do when, you know, I, I know that this is all volunteer for you. So thank you for that. But I do think that there needs to go, I'd like to see the council go in a direction that's a little bit more at least acknowledging of the needs of everybody else, not just the needs of one, one aspect of the town. Um, and I'd also like to make sure that we can amend the minutes. Yep. I have a Thank you, for May 13th. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, I'll strike at 90 miles around the hot I want to speak about in the public hearing on the redevelopment of the golf course. Is that a separate open public hearing? Yes. Okay. You have to wait until the public So hearing. the thing is, I don't know anything about agendas or how these meetings are run, so I'm just going to sure. sit back down. Anyone <laughs> 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 else? Public comment? Hi, Christina White at 76 Main Street. I have, as you, most of you know, the Polka Dot Cafe. And I have been a merchant on Main Street since 1994. And I was here at part of the first um, nudging to get parking regulations on Main Street. When I had the shop that is now the yoga studio, someone from the apartment upstairs took a vacation, a week long, maybe 10 days, and left their disabled car direct, parked directly in front of my store. And that was one of the things that brought about the impetus to ask for a two hour parking limit because there were so many tenants that were abusing the space and not opening it up 
to make it, the spaces available for, for merchants and for, for commerce. You know? So at that time, a two hour limit was huge. That was huge, it was really important. This is 25 years later and things have changed dramatically. I can't tell you how many people come into the Polka Dot Cafe at one o'clock and say, we'll stop in on our way back, what time do you close? And when I tell them I close at three o'clock, they said, oh, we're gonna be on the trail for four hours. No, there's no way we can make it back here. It happens again and again and again. And because the trail is the most used of the 29 parks in the county system, we've got to pay attention to that. It brings so many people to town. We have the potential to exploit that, if you will, to serve those people by bringing them into town, providing events that are going to be appreciated by them and expanding their participation. They, when they come in, I call myself the unofficial Highbridge Board of Tourism because I have pamphlets on the history and the state parks and all the things that go on here and all the pamphlets that Stephen produces that we can't get printed by the county. <laughs> I just got more, so I, Good. I will bring it up. Good. They love all that information. They love being in touch with something that's smaller and more personal than the places that they come from. And we need to encourage that. And by establishing any kind of paid parking, we're going to discourage that. We're going to push them to the outer limits and some of them won't even bother to come anymore. The, the side streets will be congested. They don't want to pay. And we already know that Borough Commons is too small for the number of people that we have at this point. I applaud your efforts to expand it. But it's, it's time to rethink how we approach this situation and a parking kiosk that doesn't serve the, the people who live here and it certainly doesn't serve the tourism industry that's finally beginning to burgeon here is not the answer. Furthermore, um, when the, uh, the county first came to us to repave 513, their initiative was to create single-sided parking, which would have reduced the 30-some parking spaces on Main Street to 17. Mayor and council at that time were completely unaware that we had 48 apartments, and since then, more buildings have been built. Some of those apartments represented four cars in a family, or three cars and a truck, you know? So the part, and since then, we've sold Old Borough Hall and lost 19 more parking spaces. So we can't afford to diminish this in any way by, by paying asking our people to pay for parking. Um, and overnight permits, maybe that's a good idea, but perhaps they don't have to be expensive. There are far too many cars in the Main Street area to just completely wipe that clean. But if they were allowed to stay overnight and then had to be moved in the morning, that would open things up for commerce. So that's what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. May I make a comment? Absolutely. Is the app still on the table? Name, yeah, name please. and address, please. Ryan Ward, 5 King Hill Road in Solitude Village, and 7 McDonald Street, South Lemon Park. Um, <clears throat> are we still talking about the app, though, on Mage? I want to know what the terms are. So you'll see that that ordinance has actually been tabled. That's so. been tabled. OK. Well. So we're talking, but we are talking about two-hour parking limit on, on Main Street, is that right? No. If you read the ordinance that we're introducing tonight, that has been also removed. What, do I have enough time to ask you, what, you what's on the table? to speak on anything you'd like to speak on for these four okay. minutes. <laughs> okay. We don't have to restrict it to anything for four minutes, but... 
Okay. But we're not voting on those things this evening. So, okay, what's being voted on this evening regarding parking? Nothing. We, we are eliminating, uh, the, 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 or we're introducing the two hour to, to and, and, getting, and adding overnight, right? Is that, that's introduced? We're eliminating the, the two hour parking, yeah, and there will be no parking between the hours of 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. That's the introduction, not voting. Introduction. Yeah, well, we're correct. voting on the introduction. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> and, and just for your information, there will be a public hearing on it, um, assuming that it gets introduced tonight at the next meeting, which um, June 24th. Yeah. And so, you know, that would be the opportunity okay. to speak about the ordinance. Okay, thank you for explaining. But <laughs> well, you can speak about whatever you want. Great. Can I get a speed bump at Union Forge. I don't know, when, has that ever been brought up? Many times. Yeah, what's the status on that? It's not happening. <laughs> no, <laughs> a, a serious answer, please. It's not happening. No, a serious it's, answer, please. I'm not part of the council, I don't I'm, you well, know. Well, I'm just gonna explain it to you, because yeah. it's snow plowing. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. number one reason. That's it? Okay, well, thank okay. you for answering that question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so regarding the, the overnight parking, I just wanted to share, you know, my, you know, opinion, I guess, regarding that. I share a lot of Nicole's concerns about, you know, park cars being, you know, left on Main Street. Obviously, I think that's a concern. Uh, but, you know, regarding, uh, you know, changes to the, the parking code, you know, at large on Main Street, uh, you know, I would like to see, yeah, I'd like to see things handled by, by permit or stickers, basically. Um, I understand that the concerns, uh, you know, I listened to the last meeting, and I understood that um, the concerns go beyond uh, just Main Street and parking on Main Street, but also uh, residents that are, residences that are there on the surrounding streets, and those, those um, residents being concerned about folks parking in front of their homes, uh, and I think that could probably be best handled also with stickers of a certain color or something like that. Um, uh, I'll, I suppose I'll wait, you know, for the next uh, public comment period to talk more, you know, about my disdain for the, the app idea. Um, but uh, yeah, I, that, I guess that's what I had to share with them. Uh, you know, uh, thank you for giving me the time. Appreciate it. Thanks. I, mean, I think it's worth saying. I saw. Actually, I don't know where he went. Our um, department, you know, Rick Roll was here. Uh, um, and if you're asking about things like plowing and stuff, I mean, he can kind of give you some of the practicality of why speed bumps, you know, and, and things like that. You know, there are there are other reasons not to put it there. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just it just it, that doesn't mean it's not an okay idea. But there are reasons why. You know, sometimes we don't do things like that. That are there are practical reasons that would cause bigger problems for in other aspects of dealing with sure, our roads. I appreciate you. Yeah, and so, and, but he was here. I don't know where he went. <laughs> it's always worth asking the guys that deal with it because they really do know yeah, better than better than we do even in terms of how does this affect their day to day taking care of our roads. And so I mean, that is a, a major component of making these decisions. Right, and it's my concern as a parent that you know has me raise it. Uh, we're relatively new to the town, moved in the salty collision late 2019, and it was um, one of the first things I noticed about, you know, the local park is that it's at the bottom of a hill. Uh, and I, I see the 25 mile per hour sign, but I also see people uh, speed through. So I don't know if, you know, if it's possible to think outside the box on how to ensure, better ensure that folks cannot speak through there. Speak bumps is what comes to mind for me. I don't know it if we've looked into how other municipalities with a similar snowplow concern uh, have dealt with this type of situation, but it seems hazardous. I don't want my child to be the first, you know, lost to, to and, be, I, and, I, and I think a lot of us have raised many children here. I, I know right. that on um, during soccer season, mm -hmm. there's, there's parking on both sides of the road. Um, I know that's on Saturday or Sunday, I don't recall which days now, but it's been a while since we were able to play. <laughs> but um, that basically funnels the traffic. It, it, it basically slows the traffic down because right. much like Main Street, where you have parking on both sides, yep. people can't just go flying up and down Main Street, just the same as you right. report. So it helps to govern the speed limit more. You know, sure. You know, during busy times, the park can be really utilized. Or soccer, or baseball, or whatever sports they're going on. So, 
but I know it's not maybe what you want to hear right now, but I, I can say it, it, it does help. Right. No, that, that's an excellent thing. Yeah. Right. And thank you. Right. And, and I will say also that in the past, when we've had issues with certain roads, we'll ask the county to do a speed study, mm -hmm. and we've done it on Krieger. Um, we can certainly do it there. I would imagine we'll speak to the police chief, and he requests the whatever the sensors are, and they. They do a study of how many, and it gives you exact numbers of how many people are going through, how fast they're going. I will say that typically what we find out is that 95% of the people are going in the speed limit or under, and there's those few outliers that everybody notices. Yeah. That's usually what we find out. But, right. but it is, we can certainly do it again and see. Um, well, well, the only reason I think it's yeah. we just repaved and re engineered the entire stretch of road, mm -hmm. and a decision was made not to put in speed bumps, we re curved it. We relined the crossing, we put in new fences. So we're really doing the best we can. And, you know, a decision was made not to put a big chain link fence. And, um, you know, people have to obey the speed limit. Those that don't, there's always yeah. going to be them. I mean, we all know that. We all, oh, I think most of us live on some sort of road that people, some people barrel through them all the time. I live in this one. Right. Yeah. Maybe not yet. <laughs> no, they come down fast. Let me tell you. Well, <laughs> Every you once in a while. Time, and I know I don't have time for any, any other questions. So just throw out a rhetorical because uh, I haven't heard it discussed. Um, I'm sorry. You can go back for the second round. I will. We'll have that time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It'll get you, Sally. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, Sally Ward in Solitude Village. Um, I was just listening to other folks and I thought to myself, you know, the, in the meeting where, um, you know, the kiosk was discussing, you know, being discussed, I, I was pretty mm, strong in my feelings about that. And I just, I want to thank you all for listening to the people and putting that on the table and not, you know, moving forward for that at that time because you know, the one thing that um, I know the people I've bumped into up in solitude care a lot about is being heard here. And, you know, they heard that. They heard that. Um, I bumped into people walking dogs and stuff and, you know, we chat and talk. And uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to, you know, slow stuff down. I'm sorry I spent so much time going in circles that day. But anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks, Sally. Oh, thank you. Also, we're here, and I'm so happy to see everybody's face. And I just took my mask off because I have courage for the moment. And um, I, I want to do a personal thanks, like Steve did last evening, to our mayor for literally walking us through pandemic times. What a crazy thing we had to live through. You did what you did with so much grace and kindness and wisdom that I know I am so very grateful for your leadership and your kindness. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. We did it together. I'll say it again. We did it together. So I appreciate everyone's help in doing what we needed to do just to get us through it. So anyway, any, any other public comments? All right. Introduction of Ordinance 2021-031, Golf Course Redevelopment Plan, motion to open the public hearing. Move. Move. Second. Roll call. One. Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hugh? Yes. All right, well, I think everyone at this point had the chance to read through this awesome uh, report. It's pretty exciting. Um, not sure I can add anything other than it um, went through without any hiccups to the planning board as uh, being in line with our master plan. Or in, in, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking for a word, but it's not there. Um, so we have an exciting opportunity once we get through this redevelopment plan that I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to start talking about that. Um, and that's it. Al, you want to come on up? Sure. I, I actually, Al Schweiker, 90 Mine Road, Hybrids, New Jersey. I actually just read this and I kind of laughed because it says here in 1995 designated the entire borough as an area in need of rehabilitation. And I, I remember that meeting. Um, 
It's like we were trying to fix Main Street, and then everybody said, Main Street, do the whole town. And uh, we did. So um, my, my um, I saw the redevelopment. I didn't see the plan yet. Um, my concern was making sure that I didn't see the plan yet, but I'd love to. Take this with you. Oh, thank you. So I've, I've been kind of, I don't know, stewarding the purpose of the golf course for the last 20 years. And um, even when it, it came out and got approved and we started building it, you know, I, the people sitting on council were like, I need to put a police officer in that budget and I need to put a public works and just trying to hold on to the whole idea and the purpose of that golf course was to return money for the residents. And um, I don't know if you've ever seen the Golf Digest article, and I, I was in there um, in 1999, May of 1999, and I said, uh, gosh, if taxes ever went over 8,000, this town would be in big trouble. You know, we gotta get that money back. Well, I'm paying over double that right now. Um, so I just wanna make sure that if we do a redevelopment plan, how is it being funded? Um, and I want to make sure that, that we don't you know, like push the loan out another. It's paid for by the Highlands. Uh, that would beautiful be wonderful. report, paid for 100% by the Highlands. That would be wonderful. Yeah. So, and so I think what you're wanting to talk about is the potential for the actual development of the barn at the golf course. Is that what you're asking? No, I just okay. wanted to make sure that when that magic day comes, when that loan is paid off, that Next the year? money, the money yeah, comes yeah. back to the people and, and we, we go from being like the highest taxes in Hunterdon County to somewhere in the middle, and and um, that's that's my only purpose. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be my dream come true, Al. Okay. To be honest. That's that's what will happen. Yeah. But um, so thank you very much. Thank you. It was a it was a good long term vision. Yes, it was. There may have been some rough things in between, but the idea that it would eventually pay for itself and reduce that was a good long term vision. <laughs> It's going to happen. Thanks. Did the planning board have any comments that can add-ons to? It aligns with everything. Yeah. Okay. I didn't, I didn't notice anything vision. changing when I went through it. So. No. Um, you know, it, it was part of the whole master plan. It fits into economic, both in Highbridge, countywide, statewide. Uh, it, you know, really checks off a lot of boxes for Highbridge. Um, you know, and opens the door to opportunities, yes. which is really, it's just yeah. amazing. And, and the fact that we've got Highlands to pay for it, and they're, you know, pretty much 99% on board. The 1% is what none of us know yet. So um, we're excited to get, get through this tonight. Sally Ward from Solitude. Um, I think it's a great idea. I was very excited. Even though sleepy, at the end of that long meeting, I was almost comatose. I could go to sleep usually at 7.30, so maybe sorry about that. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, the explanation that those guys gave, I mean, they were psyched. I remember when you said, you were excited about their excitement, and I'm like, I was like, yeah, me too. But you couldn't hear that, so I'm saying it now, me too. Thank you, sir. Nicole Poco, 5060 Main Street. Um, I, I kind of have questions um, just to kind of understand. I think you were, uh, Mary, you were about to answer or you were about to address who pays for the development. How does that work? Well, that's not what we're talking about tonight when we're ready to introduce oh, okay. that new idea. This is just the actual. This is the actual just the the part of the redevelopment plan. Okay, gotcha. it's, a, okay. it's in line with the overall master plan, gotcha. master redevelopment plan of the borough of Highbridge. Okay. Thank you. Basically, this this stack of papers says, "Here's the situation. Right. Here's what we got. Yeah. Here's what we're allowed to do with mm -hmm. it. It's an some options. Yeah. I mean, that's there. truly all it is. Yeah, there was also a proposal option. as an option yes. that we could then pursue. That would be the next step. And so that's yeah. You know, that's. I was on the committee for 100 West Main. No. So it was probably yeah, the same, same idea. Yeah. Same so we had a report right. that told us all the things we could gotcha. choose okay. or in the future. Gotcha. Hopefully, someone will come and offer one. That's great. That'd be great. Wait for a proposal now, right? Okay. And, and, yes, and there's one at least out there, so that's a good thing. All right. Motion to close the public hearing for ordinance 2021-031. Move. Second. Roll call. Yes. Perry. Yes. Moore. Yes. 
Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hughes? Yes. Motion to adopt ordinance 2021-031. Moved. Second. Roll call. Columbus. Yes. Terry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hughes? Yes. Okay, no discussion items tonight. Uh, introduction of ordinances. Ordinance 2021. Can I make a motion before we do. Okay. Can I make a motion to amend oh, ordinance 2021-032 yep. to replace two words? I think there's a typo. Yeah. Um, just to explain, A, B, C, and D start with no person shall park, no person may park, no person shall, and then one of them says no owners and operators to park. I think that should be a shall. So I'm going to propose we change the may and the two to shalls, so that they are all consistent. And it makes sense. Cut that out. So, yeah. So B would be changed from no person may to no person shall, mm -hmm. and then C, where it says no owner or operator of any motor vehicle to park, the word two will be replaced by shall. Those are two That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah. Good. 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 So then I'm going to introduce. As that was a motion. So that, yeah. a second. Oh, second. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Roll call. I'm sorry, that's fourth? Yeah. Okay. Columbus? Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hugh? Yes. Okay. Motion to introduce ordinance 2021 as amended. Move. Oh, oh. Sorry. Second. 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 I, I okay. Okay. Now I can't see everybody's faces. Columbus? Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hughes? Yes. Okay. Ordinance 2021-032 shall be published in the Express Times and or the 100 County Democrat along with the public hearing date of June 24, 2021. Ordinance 2021-033, River Road, Phase 2. Motion to introduce. Move. Second. Roll call. Columbus. Yes. Ferry. Yes. Moore. Yes. Schwartz. Yes. Strain. Yes. And Hugh. Yes. Ordinance 2021-033 shall be published in, its, in the Express Times and or the Huntington County Democrat along with the public hearing date of July 15, 2021. Ordinance 2021-034, amend chapter 184-31, schedule 10, time limit parking. If people would like to read through that, the full document, it is to remove two hour parking on Main Street and limit overnight parking. You cannot park on Main Street from the hours of 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. No, there's no permits. No, no permits required. No parking on Main Street from 2 to 6 a.m. Motion to introduce 20, Ordinance 2021-034. Move. Second. Roll call. Yes. Yes. Ferry. Yes. Moore. Yes. Schwartz. Yes. Strain. Yes. And Hugh. Yes. Ordinance 2021-034 shall be published in the Express Times and or the Hunterdon County Democrat along with the public hearing date June 24, 2021. On to the consent agenda. Anyone have any uh, anything to remove? Excited to see a license approval for Mrs. Riley's. <laughs> Motion to approve the consent agenda. Move. Seconds. Roll call. Columbus. Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. And Hughes? Yes. Okay, second round of public comments. Second round. A lot of red is coming. Anyone? Um, I'm just trying to find the supporting documents that were listed on the website because it didn't say that we were planning on doing permit parking over at on Main Street. You have Am I to correct? read through the whole thing. It's 78 pages. Well, you have to read through that specific ordinance. That ordinance is okay. like two or three pages. If you want, I can certainly read it, but I can. But if, that will take away from your five minutes. Do you think I'm not sure. telling the truth? No, no. Uh, Michelle, you told me that the kiosk had nothing to do with Main Street. You several told times. me that the number one way 
Highbridge could help with Main Street businesses was to enforce two-hour parking right up until the day of that meeting. Until I listened. So we have been trying to. I'm, work with I'm you. speaking. Until I listened to the other business owners' needs, and I changed my mind. Okay. Which is what we should all. Well, I appreciate that. Doing. But here, Thank as you. a friend, I thought we were working together, and you came out of left field at that meeting. So here we are. You have no parking on Main Street to a to sit there. It's in the document. If there's something personal, we can talk about it. It's not personal. Outside of the meeting. It's not personal. Okay. Just going by the email we received from the president of the you know business association we were trying to work with. Not slamming us. Not slamming the Main Street businesses by trying to fix parking problems throughout the entire borough. So as a friend, yes, I am disappointed. That's all. Any other public comments? Yes. Yes, it's, it'll be on video tomorrow. Okay. I'll ask, I don't know the official way to ask this, but I'll ask the mayor to keep it professional. Ryan Ward still <laughs> by Canyon Hill Road. I'll ask the mayor to keep it professional and refrain from bullying. I would appreciate okay. that. Felt slightly felt a little Me too. Line. You should be in my shoes. Voters willing, perhaps, at some point. Why not? <laughs> is this a, is this a time when I can comment on anything again? Absolutely. Yes. Five minutes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well. May I comment on the? So, can someone explain to me? And I'm sorry, this is my first time at one of these, and I listened to the other one, but I'd like like to better understand. Um, so, what were we are voting tonight on the, the proposed ordinance of, no, there's no vote tonight. It's just that the current proposal, if it's not sidelined or tabled or you know anything like that, the current proposal is get rid of the two hour parking and no overnight on Main Street, is that right? Correct. Okay. And no permit. And no permit. Oh, the question I was gonna ask before. Um, I listened to the discussion in the last meeting about um, about traffic on Main Street, and uh, I've driven on Main Street a plenty, uh, and I've noticed like a lot of people tuck their mirrors. It's really uncomfortable, and we we I heard about the you know past proposals for making it one side of the street only parking and so on. Uh, what I haven't heard talked about is uh, making Main Street one way. Uh, there are. Mayor shaking her head. Uh oh, it's, a <laughs> it's like the plow thing all it's over again. It's a county again. road. <laughs> okay. So that just because uh, I noticed Main Street uh, Clinton is one way, um, and so that works well there. But are we? So we're saying it's not possible. It's it's not possible. Not under our jurisdiction. Okay. So this would be a road. issue to raise or idea to raise in what other forum, if anyone could advise me? Go to a county meeting, because they're fun. Right. <laughs> yeah, the, county, the, afternoons. the county board of freeholders yeah. will be in charge of making decisions. Commissioners. Yeah. Commissioners. Commissioners. Yeah. Commissioners. 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 Oh, county commissioners. I'm sorry, not freeholders anymore. <laughs> it's a shame we don't have more control over that. Oh, they just paid back us. That's pretty good, too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. uh, I guess the that's good. Yeah. yeah, I take it that I, my taxes are also funding that. As well as you know whatever else. Yeah, right. I'm also in su I'm also in support of the idea that was brought up about our tax, our property tax being lowered. I just wanted to get that on the record. <laughs> I would love just anything you board. guys could do. I mean, I, you, you got a tough job. You got a lot of things you need to look at. But by golly, if there's one like pain point uh, of living here uh, or owning here, um, it's that. Well, probably renting here too, right? The owners are going to pass on that cost. Uh, so yeah, if there's one pain point of living here, it's the, it's the expense, um, and so you know, so appreciate the work that you uh, put into that and any headway that you can make. So thanks everybody. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Christina White at 76 Main Street. I, for one, would like to commend you for all the hard work you've done to receive all the grants that have kept our tax dollars intact and been able to move, so the borough has been able to move forward in ways like this report and the things that are happening at Solitude House and Springside that 
require money and funding that hasn't been available through our own tax base but has come from grants outside. And I, I think that's a really tremendous thing on all your parts and you're to be commended. And your committees and your volunteers who work so hard to do that. The other thing that I remember from many years ago when we talked about um, speed bumps <laughs> was that they are only allowed in private developments like Union something in, in Clinton. They're not allowed on public roads, and you know, certainly with snow plowing, you can understand why. Um, so that's just something I wanted to throw out. It's not, um, it's not feasible to put them there for for many reasons, but they're not ours. And the other thing is, you know, it's it's a shame that 513 belongs to the county, that Main Street isn't our own, and that when we want to have the pooch parade on the street, we can't because of the amount of police activity and, and permits from the county and all those things that go into it. Yeah, it's a shame, but it's it's what it is and we have to make the best of it and work with them as we can. And so thankfully, double-sided parking was maintained with a lot of effort from a lot of people. And, you know, it helps to, um, it helps to slow traffic down on Main Street, which is part of what downtown New Jersey suggested we do years ago. Is, is maintain that and, and not have any meters, not have any way to discourage people, but to slow them down so that they could watch and see all the things that were going on on Main Street. And 25 years later, there's a whole lot more going on and it's really getting exciting. So I thank you all for getting all those grants. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to say, having spoken with the police chief a number of times about parking and other things, one of his comments that he's made is, yes, people tuck their mirrors in. People worry that maybe their car might get bumped. But it's almost unheard of that we have a person get hit by a car going mm -hmm. too fast in the middle of town. Personally, I'm more than happy to trade a few occasional bumped mirrors for some kid getting squished. Uh, and I've watched a police car get his mirror ripped off <laughs> and then pull on his lights and go chase down that guy who just took his mirror off, which is kind of funny. Um, but yes, it slows everyone down automatically and naturally because you have to do, otherwise you can't make it through. Yeah. It's not optimal, but maybe it's better than some of the other options that might happen. So I, I, it doesn't bother me that it's tight. I've noticed people being really polite, <coughs> stopping and letting other cars yeah. go through and then taking Hopefully. the turn. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Most of the time. Anyone else? No legal issues? Thankfully none, Mayor. <laughs> Communications. To the Clinton Township meeting notice, the May zoning report, and results from the notes. Approval of the bill list. Uh, we had uh, top sheet added wires to the bill that comes a total of $158,504.04. Motion to approve the bill list. No. Second. Roll call. Lundes. Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Strain? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call. Is that, is that <laughs> adjourn? <laughs> What's that? Is that motion to adjourn? Yes. Can I, yeah. can I just make one comment? Um, because uh, the next meeting is on the 24th, but the Sekula, uh, Jonathan Sekula uh, golf event is on the 28th. I just wanted to. You know, uh, it's a charity event at the golf course. I just wanted to throw that out there again. I know it's been spoken about many times, but um, uh, if you're interested in signing up, highbridgehills.org, uh, or Highbridge Hills, I think it's probably there. Yep. Um, call up the golf course. Uh, it's a great charity fund, so it you know, gives back to the community. So um, check it out. If anyone's interested in playing, sign up. If you're already signed up. I am signed <laughs> up. <It's laughs> my course. Thank you very much. All right, Columbus. Yes. Barry? Yes. Moore? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. String? Yes. And you? Yes. Next council meeting, June 24, 2021, 730, right here at the Firehouse. <laughs> <laughs>